right? And the Sword characters, I think, do well against Pikachu because they can outrange him so well, but right. they do struggle with his mobility and his small size. Game & Watch does not swing that high with his moves. Getting low profile, not so much of a problem for him. So I think he's a really good choice to combat Pikachu. I'm surprised to see Esam auto-locking Pikachu. I genuinely thought Samus might be an option here. I know he plays a couple other characters. He played Yoshi in Smash 4. Not sure if that's no. persisted here into Ultimate, but regardless, sure to be a great set one way or the other. We're gonna see, oh, also another thing that makes Game & Watch hard for Pikachu, Pikachu's combo game kind of shuts down against Game & Watch. Not only is he light and hard to hit up with follow-ups, up B, just mash on that to get out of a bad spot. And if you got that fire button, just to be able to like get out of jail free card, it could be incredibly devastating from the deal. So let's jump right into it. Meister right out the gate. Are you taking on 79 damage against Ethan before he even has a retort? Kills him, almost kills him with the down smash. Looking for another one? Oh, he was looking for the thunder yeah. too. Wow. One of Esam's favorite little tricksies at the edge. And you know, recognize that Esam adapting. You know, he didn't go for the Thunder because a lot of Pikachus will just fall into that habit where they feel like it's safe to do it, but you cannot do that against Meister. I think he also just wanted to get the hell back to the stage yeah. right there. Because like, he, he's getting a, getting a little bopped right now. 117% already out of the gate. Throw, oh. Just drops one more forward error on him. That's going to be Meister taking away that first stock from Esam. Yep, this is indicative of how their previous matches have gone as well. These guys, unfortunately, it's kind of one-sided, but I have to say, the matchup is really to blame. I mean, Ezem clearly a top 20 player in the world, PGR certified. And this is the second time we've seen this with Game & Watch. Remember like when he was fighting against Villager earlier? And Isabel, like in another one, like Meister yeah. just getting that, like, that, that really like good bracket. Dream for bracket for his yeah, character. 100%. Yeah, 100%. But hey man, talk to me when you got a Lucina into an Olimar, <laughs> into a wolf. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, you had the right idea there. He went for the grab. Didn't expect Pikachu's roll to go that far across the stage. Be able to pocket his projectiles. Wow, he got out of the bucket so quickly. Is it? You know what? Maybe it's like uh, Fox's shine now, where you can do certain moves or actions right out of the absorption. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to check the Carfax on that one later. Right. Hit me on Twitter. I don't have a phone right now, but uh, educate me. Yeah, he got out of the bucket absorption animation so quickly right there. Right. Not I mean, sure why. I mean, he's just such a wacky character. You know, like, strange shenanigans like that are going to happen here. Okay, Esam is trying to get out of there using his quick attack to escape the platform and get back to the center stage. This is Esam's chance to try to find this stock, find an answer here to this up smash. Charging it. Oh, smart like by Esam. Yeah, dead center on top of Game Watch 2, avoiding both hammers. Yeah, managed to pop him up into the air as well, 117%. So I'm going for that down Fantastic tech coming out from Esam, knowing that he might have gotten hit, so just preemptively pushing that R button in the process. Oh, he is challenge? charging, man. Yeah, he's They both stood there for a second. Too. Not a move you want to swing on at all. Yeah, that's scary, dog. Okay. Esam's on the verge of losing the second stock. Meister, same could be said for his first. So, you know, a lot of forward airs and back airs, forcing Esam. Like, he's trying, basically just trying to catch Esam jumping. Gets him with the kill, gets the grab. That's going to be Esam finally putting a stock on the board. Let's see if he can try to keep this up. Panda Global's Esam trying to get some big combos here. Gets him with the thunder. Catching him all the way off the top before he even thinks about being able to go for the bucket. All right, Esam, all of a sudden on the board in a big way. Game Watch is so light. That he could, uh, That's the second forward error, man. The bomb's so hard to deal with because that catch just quick attack for free because it's technically a projectile. There's more Throw bacon forces to get up option. Catches him again with the thunder off the top. Yeah, the Meister's just not ready for it. Big follow-ups here from Esam, but he needs just one clean hit to get this kill, even it up, and put himself in a real position to take the first game. And you know he's looking for that down tilt too, because that could easily lead into a tech situation, but guarantees him a jab block forward smash. Very true, and it's also just such a good shield pressure tool. Okay, Meister again doing the up B's a lot whenever Esam tries to fit. That's why he's spacing out the down tilt as well, because he can't down, he can't up B out of that. Very true, right yeah, it's too safe. Mm -hmm. It seems to be a really strong tool for Esam. He's gonna be chilling back on stage, waits to go for a ledge trap, was trying to time out his option, because that forward air would have covered so many different ones, but it's all about trying to call out what timing he would try to go back to the stage. Dude, Meister is just mashing this up. He's like, do you think you can punish me? You no. Fool? Nah, nah, fam. Yeah, Game of Watch has a lot of these deceptively fast moves on ending, right? They might have a little bit of startup, but as soon as the animation's done, it's done. And then that up B. Mm. Yeah, we had a fantastic dash attack coming out from Esam. Managed to close out that second stock. It's starting to even up a bit. This could be Esam's time to shine. Hold on, he's got an up tilt. Trying to charge it up with some more neutral airs. But the up B 
If you're off by just the slightest margin. Oh! Good answer. Because Mice has been holding on to that up smash for so long because he's expecting he's going to go up there and challenge it. So why not just use, like, your 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 longest disjoint, you know, forward smash. Oh, he's oh, burrowed. That That's a dead. Speaking of forward smashes, planting him in the ground there with down smash and then just charging on up and secure the kill. Cross stage on a light character like that, man. It's going to torture you, literally. Okay. Cooks up some uh, Pikachu for dinner, man. Now we're going to jump into this next game here. Meister with an advantage, 1-0. to zero. But Esam, in all honesty, Meister overran him in that first stock. So I feel like that's where he carried all that momentum. But then it became insanely close. So now, hopefully, Esam now has some more knowledge here. He's more, a little bit more composed to try to bring this back. Because a lot of these sets, you know, game ones don't tell the whole stories. Yes, it puts you in a good advantage but there's plenty of time to adapt. And I think Esam was already doing that in that first game alone. And Esam looking to have a repeat performance of, at the very least, the first match, Bond, where he was one of your top eight finalists. Not sure how he performed in the other years afterward, but that set with Nairo is just so legendary from oh, the first right. year. That, that's the one that sticks out in my mind. Meister, though, I believe this would be his first match con top eight for sure. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now we see Esam, you know, throwing out that forward air. Just, you know, it's a good option for Meister because he knows that Meister wants to land down that platform. So he's just covering the options. It's also pretty safe to go for it as well. So you just easily go for a fastball right afterwards. Pops up with a quick attack again, using fire to escape a potential combo right afterwards. I can, I can only imagine how frustrating Aww. that is for Esam. Another down smash. Just letting it rip. And I think Esam was trying to aim for the head again, right? Saying. I did this last time. I went in between the hammers and made the move win. That said, that oh. was a fantastic call out. He got him out the down air, runs up there, does the jump into the forward air before Meister even gets a chance to try to go back to the stage. Immediately brings us to a two stocks apiece here on Town City. Now Esam got some more combo damage coming in. Hold on a sec. All right, Whip punishes the nair or the fair with the nair. But Esam still got some bread and butters at these low percents. Pikachu's so dangerous, he can just rack the damage up very quickly. Tim throwing out four Nairs, and that Nair is such a long-lasting move for both players, honestly. Yeah, and the fat disjoint on Game of Watch just makes it really difficult for Pikachu to sneak his way in. This character uses speed, not range, to get his hits. Pikachu's right in front of him, pops up Meister into the air. And you notice Esam just kind of backing up a bit here, waiting for a clean opportunity. Looks like a missed input there with that edge guard. Tries to go for the down air. It manages to oh. trade. All because he ran off stage, connected the down air, and they just swap positions. Suddenly, Esam found himself in disadvantage. Esam, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Gamewatch, one of those characters. So good at escaping disadvantage using fire, right? And also, just because he goes to the ledge so quickly, he can turn the tables on an edge guard immediately. Reminiscent of like Martha Lucina, right? That Dolphin Slash, instant transmission back, but hold up, instant transmission to the left blast zone on the part of Esam. Sending Meister all the way out there with forward smash. It, like every stock this set has been Meister taking away Esam. Esam is responding in kind immediately. So if Esam can finally get that first attack, that first blood, he can easily put him into a game two, a game three situation, with tying one to one. So what's going to happen here is already off stage. Avoids the chef, pops him up with the down air. Could easily turn into some bigger combos, but you know Esam doesn't want to get overzealous. Oh, if that were a full hop, I think it still would have missed. I don't think it would have yeah. comboed, but. That was oh what he was my for. god. Wow, Meister, you're crazy, bro. Roll the dice. Like that Somebody was some RNG, man to Vegas. RNG nonsense. If that could have been a nine, that would have been devastating for him. Dropping another forward air bomb on him, popping him up with the fire. That neutral air though, Pikachu gonna fall out of it. Small light characters, sometimes they get that added benefit of just not having multi-hits connect properly on them. <gasps> That missed! Wow, Esam just looking to replicate the situation he saw before. Meister let it rip a little bit too soon. Wasn't able to get some punish for it. Another jump from up B coming out from Mr. Game & Watch. Meister trying to get another answer. Every single time Esam even tries to challenge that shield. Oh, down and he tilt. sneaks behind him with down tilt. Such a strong move, man. The sewer lid, man, coming up, bouncing him. The blast. You know Esam is in deep thought now, thinking about this next game. When you're at a... When you're fighting someone that you lost to twice now in tournament play, a PGR, now a potential third one, and you're down zero to two, you can only imagine how frustrating that can be. But the most uh, important look, thing yeah, to do- Yeah, you look yeah, stressed, man. I, I would be too, dog. Like, imagine putting yourself in his shoes. Like, to be down zero to two, to make that comeback? And down 0-2 in sets. You gotta dig deep. Esam normally one of like the most chipper, positive dudes, even in the right. face of a loss. But this looks like he's like, 
trying to figure out what the way forward is. Is it a character switch? Is it using Samus? Is it using Yoshi? I don't even know. I don't know how deep his pool runs in this game. But it, it just looks like Pikachu's not the answer. But it's all up to ESAM. Is it, a, it could be a character swap. It could be a mentality change. Which have to wait or and a see. really good stage counter pick, or a mixture of the three, There's right? So you never much. know. But I know that this guy's really good. He's got a game plan no matter what. Even if he has to figure it out on the fly, there's still a very solid chance that he runs this reverse 3-0 and puts himself in the loser side of top eight. Okay, he's still thinking here. Looking at these stages, live. Dude, look how intense their faces are right now, yeah. man. I mean, there's a lot on the line here. Meister himself, one win away from moving on into top eight. That's super important for being an unranked player like that. That would do wonders for him. My man Dre said the other day that you can feel the energy shift when you get into this top 64 part of the bracket, but you can feel it shift even further when the top eight qualifiers are running, man. I have chills just looking at how intense Meister and Esam are staring at that monitor right now. Hold up. This, all right, you know what? I hope this is a 3-0 now. Wow, that's he a He had to resort to Lila to pull the win? No, I'm sorry, Esam. I'm not about that. Well, nah, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> but uh, ban, ban the stage. I, I had a feeling that you were going to get some comment from Max on that stage. But now here we go, going into game three. Esam, look how patient he's playing. This might be the mentality swap he's trying to do. Not trying to push, his, you know, pu push the envelope here until he finally gets a hit. So all jokes aside, though, I'm not sure exactly what Esam's looking for out of this stage. The three platforms certainly could be good for him, right? He doesn't get those but, uh, quick attack cancels anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's also true. But I mean, just for his combo game, right? But I don't know, the, the strange ledges might, I think, hurt Pikachu more than Game Watch. Not even just for recovery, but for the way that their moves are gonna land. I think he's in his game plan right now. I'm starting to notice he's staying grounded. He's not chasing after Meister, and every single time he comes down with a down air, he hides below the platform so he can't get caught by the key. Maybe yeah. that's the maybe that's the play. Maybe, and I mean, Game Watch is so dangerous out of shield that if Esam stays grounded, he could go at him with pokes instead of um, you know jumping in with aerials and trying to get the pressure started that way. Down tilt seems to be effective. It's almost like a, a sword normal. Yeah. Catch with the forward smash. Both players are gonna be able to survive. Esam at 109 percent, still chilling. Look at this passive play coming out from Esam. This is definitely the mentality shift that he was thinking about the whole time. Finally gets a punish. Esam finding himself with a rare opportunity where he has a stock lead. All right, this is huge for Esam. Could be the start of something beautiful. He needs to win three straight, including this one here on Lila. Look how safe he's playing. He's just backing up. I mean, that's, that's what we have to do in this matchup. He goes, waits for Meister to commit to something, gives Esam the opportunity to go for a punish right afterwards. Okay, back here. Hiding underneath the platform again, tries to challenge him, but that key goes through the platform. You gotta wait a second. Yeah, Meister knows. Esam is trying to get this pressure started. Good recovery, but still gets caught by the second down smash. Esam, I think, wanted to go into the ledge with that uh, skull bash, but just uh, unfortunately, due to Lilac Cruz, you know, went underneath the ledge, but you can't really complain about it. It was his counter pick. Yeah, you know, I mean, no comment. No comment, Max. Hey. <laughs> But here we go. We're right back into it. Esam still has a slight lead in terms of percentage anyways. Wow, that full hop there by Esam was beautiful. Just calling out the jump from Meister in advance. Oh, trying to go no, for a spike. Mark. He wanted the dirty. He's backing up, okay. Look at this page. Esam is walking so much. He calls out the down air, has a forward smash with his name on it. And Esam, his face is unchanging. He is staring so intently at that screen. Yeah, and normally very jovial guy. Yeah. He'll, he'll kind of laugh or smile at the camera when something like that happens. When it, when he gets Even when stock. it happens to him. Yeah, when it happens to him or when he gets a stock, usually there's some form of reaction from him, but he is dead staring at that screen. This is the most stoic I've ever seen this guy, and it's paying off, it's showing in the gameplay. Meister trying to get some top platform pressure of his own started here. They're going away from that forward air again, dropping down yet another bomb off that forward air. Dash attack from behind after that quick attack. You have to sneak it right in oh, there. Oh, but no, Meister he ready charged for it. Dodge. He charged it. Uh, he thought he was just going to let it rip because Ezim had the right idea with that spot dodge. Meister, a good dice roll away from top eight right now. Ezim, a huge mountain to climb, but he has all the tools. He's got his pick, he's got his harness. You know, he could make it up there. But Meister just such an obstacle right now, trying to knock him down at every turn. I like that empty hop, wait for the reaction, and opt to go commit to the Nair afterwards. They let him into a free grab, just increase that damage bit by bit while he has Meister a little bit stuck in that corner. Quick attack again, gives him that free up B. Did he oh. pocket it? That was, he did not. Just one though, just, just one. one. 
<laughs> Me and JTL's got that patch in Smash 4. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember look, that. Look up 17 second doubles match. Anyway, oh here we God. go. Meister so close still to this top eight. Pikachu, a very frail character. Game & Watch, Glass Cannon, tons of knockback. But he's also bleeding out heavily himself, crossing that 90% threshold. Weak look. dash attack. Wow, Isim. the stall. He just did the bucket to stall. He did, I mean, he had to. Isim was out there. And, you know, look, I just love how Isim is just spacing all these attacks and is just not running into these hits. That reach! Oh, and he that went for the judgment. This yeah. guy's crazy. He had a smash potentially. Actually, no, uh, the low percent. And Isim's yeah. mashing got him out of there. Yeah, oh, Isim mashed to get out. Hold on. This is starting to go, run out of Isim's hands. Gets another punish, another dash attack. Has him off stage. Goes back onto the ledge. Oh. Well, held down. That was an opportunity. Castle oh. with the dash attack. Isim oh, finally Isim. putting a point on the board. And that's a sigh of relief because he almost let that go. Almost. Staying alive by the skin of his teeth here. Isam still in this, man. But now we Don't got count, count him out. We got counter picks coming out from Meister now. I feel like, honestly, that was such a smart play from Isam. The fact that he counterpicked Lilac -like Cruz to have all those platforms in order to be able to hide underneath, as well as just a passive play in general, just going for a more punish game. Hit, hit, hit and, uh, you know, just a hit and run type of game. For this time. <laughs> That's Isam doing that too, not even Meister. Practicing his showing, his, showing his feelings yeah, towards yeah, a certain yeah, character. Yeah, exactly. Certain 2D character. All right, here we go. I didn't see what the counter pick was, but we'll find out in a second. Town, Town and City. City. All right, high ceiling, short sides, big stage, and also three different potential layouts, right? So we've got the FD clone, we've got the Kalos clone, and we've got this weird inverse battlefield that's also partially like Kalos because the edges or the platforms hang over the edges. Right. And right out the gate, you saw Meister already trying to like end a stock there. You, know, you put Isam so vertically afterwards. Isam's been doing a fantastic job of just getting these punishments. Getting a dash attack on the downer. Oh Goes off God. super deep for a forward air. Isam again, taking away first blood. This is a totally new Isam, man. I was thinking Pikachu might not be the answer, right? Maybe it's time to switch characters. It was a mentality showing, swap. He's showing that he can do what he does best with the character he does it best with. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you just gotta believe in your character enough and you can make magic happen. Just like this combo. Filled with magic, it continues. How is he extending this? 71 damage. He did the fair drag down without the last hit, and it made Game & Watch sink to the floor to keep it going. That was beautiful stuff by Isam, and he knows that at any moment, if he's slightly off the mark, he can get up B. Oh. Gets called out by the up smash. You saw him land right in front of him with the neutral air. Got to be safe right there, 85%. As him off stage, tries to drag down a chase after the down air because he sees an opportunity. If he can get yet another sneaky forward air near the edge of the blast zone, that put Isim in a good spot. Trying to call out a full jump out of shield, drags him down, doesn't want to overcommit, rolls away just in case. Wants to opt to go play, play it more safe that way. Is that the Thunder Joel? Isim standing still. Waits for the timing again. He just can't seem to get the correct timing on when Meister's going to commit to a, a ledge option. Oh, that bacon anti-airing him, stopping him yeah. cold. Meister making a huge comeback so far. It's tough to challenge Chef sometimes when you go directly. Get Isam again just standing there, waiting for Meister to eventually dash in. and goes for his quickest burst option, dash attack. Yeah, I love the contrast, right? Inching back and forth, and then, oh, I'm in your face, and he does it again. He, bro, bro, Isam's in his face, but he's also in his head, I think. Look at this. This comeback, is this actually happening? That's Downer. a great line, by the way. I'm taking yeah. that. <laughs> Patent it. There we go, downer spikes him again, 61 damage again. These big combos are doing wonders for Isam. Get you on the middle platform again, dropping down with the back air. Turtle, trying to avoid the chef. Isam making killer plays this time around. It's because of the passiveness, I'm telling you. Yeah, absolutely, we saw it exhibited first on Lilat. Just started being way more patient, waiting for Meister to finish. Whatever he's gonna do first. Quick attack to center stage. Avoids the forward airs, gets him an opportunity, wanted the jab block, but fantastic tech from Meister. Tries to punch the up smash with a forward smash of his own, was too slow for it. Calls him out with a forward air to stuff out the quick attack. Isam finds himself once more on his tournament life. Oh, oh my, my god, a one, another one? And if that like was a nine, I could only imagine. Okay, that's not safe. Down throw into what? Nair, Nair. up B. Keep the damage flowing, put the bomb down to keep it busy. Looks oh. out good spacing from Isam. Avoids the down smash in the process while throwing out a little bit of a jolt from himself. Yeah, and also Pikachu. Good punish! Out. Oh, he's alive though. Excellent DI to the corner from Meister. Okay, he's waiting. Walking up. He's gonna have to go for a re-grab free. Oh I don't my. know what he was doing. No way. He that let go of the ledge. The angle down forward tilt. 
he caught. The thing was, he was completely vulnerable. He let go of the ledge, he used up B again to re-grab onto it with no invincibility whatsoever. So that gave Esam a free stock at the end. Esam bringing this to a final game situation. Is Esam about to break his curse? One of them anyways? I think he is, man. If he puts his first set up against Meister, and he makes a top eight at SmashCon, S tier, Super Major, 2,700 players, man, that would be huge for him. Yeah, I mean, th this is hard, right? Because technically by ranking, Meister winning is an upset. But in terms of their head-to-head, Esam defeating Meister would be an upset. So like, it's either way, something nuts is about to happen. I don't know, man, still anybody's game here. Yeah. Town and City for the fifth and final game, just running it right on back. All right, down throw, is he gonna, yes he is! This oh, madman God. went for the judgment immediately. Didn't pan out for him though, only swinging a three. We haven't seen an eight come out yet, or a nine for Meister. Yeah. He might as well pick up Hero at this point. Dude, ban both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to play Mario Party. Dude, I am, come on, Get, let that dice roll. But Esam already off stage 83%. Not too much damage from Esam. Okay, dash attack just to get in there. Meister barely touched on this first stock so far. Ooh, frame traps with the bomb, but Esam just drifting out of the way. Esam might be a little bit overzealous to try to get this win already out the gate. Gets caught by the wow. forward Aaron Meister, taking away that first stock from Esam. Things are starting to like look like it's a repeat of history from the first, first two games. Looks like Meister's waking back up. Games three and four, just a warm up for him. It was all yeah. for data, man. Right, oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> that final no, game. of course not. He comes back up with the neutral air. Esam's just kind of getting hit by stuff at this point. I think mean, he needs to. Go back, go back to the game plan. There he goes, the punish game. That's where he's thriving. Waits for Meister to commit, and then goes right after and does a follow-up. Oh, and Meister just backing up. He knows Esam loves that quick attack to get back at, from the offstage situation. Okay, yeah, throwing out another forward air. Gets back to center stage. Sees the Keyblade coming in towards the center. Esam looking for a punish. Gets caught by the down smash. It comes out so quick. It'll always catch Esam off guard in that regard. He's trailing by so much right now. Meister knows that Esam's in a rush to get toward him to press forward, and this character excels in that situation. Able to put out these huge buttons that last forever and end relatively quickly. Esam, oh, Esam mixing them up, multi-hits on the shield. He had to recover high right there. You saw Esam, he had a forward smash waiting for him. Potential opportunity, goes for the re-grab right after the down tilt. Finds a forward air off stage. You gotta remember, Mr. Game Watch, a pretty light character. If that happens one more time, that could be a stock. Down smash is going to get a big punish off of that. Down tilt throws Esam flying off stage. Good answer as well. He's responding to the quick attack with a dash attack of his own. Yeah, such a good move for two framing. Uh, Esam just being flung from west coast to east coast. He's just having so much trouble getting off this stage. He needs to get back to the stage. Meister's in control. Throws the bomb. Oh, patience for Meister though. The quick attack not going to be safe on shield despite the cross up. Meister, three stocks to one right now. We've seen some insane comebacks today though, Osti. And what better way to make a reverse 3-0 happen than also performing a three-stock comeback within the yeah. same match. Yeah, bro, I, if we could see a 0-2 comeback, I could see a three-stocks to one-stock comeback. ECM's not out of the woods just yet, but things are starting to become harder and harder for him. And the more he gets hit by this stuff, you see him catch the roll in, pressuring him to go commit to a roll option off the head corner of the stage. Game Watch, such a good character at shutting down these approaches. Looking for that high recovery with the back air. Esam looking for an answer, goes for a punish with the dash attack, not enough to get the stock, and he needs to take it right now. He's taking too much damage. He's already at 88%. Forward air, finally, no No, he's yet. still hanging on. What in the world? Just not close enough to the edge there. All right, Esam looking for these forward tilts. Not enough, though. Gets out of jail, free car with that fire up. He had a shield, like, I don't know, and that's Whoa, gonna be an up smash. on. Meister ends it with a three stock. Moving on into top eight, Meister from Mexico City. Going in there, committing to a guaranteed seventh place finish here at Super Smash Con. And Esam almost, almost bringing that back against one of his curses, but hey, maybe next time. Ladies and gentlemen, you have two unranked players in your top